are the 10 beautiful and colorful birds that can be found in the Philippines? Number 1. The Red Vented Cockatoo, also known as the Philippine Cockatoo and locally Catala, a bouquet, a gay or colonati, is a species of cockatoo. It is endemic to the Philippines though pressured by various environmental degradation and illegal pet trades. The population of the Philippine cockatoo is somehow growing owing to Catala organization. It is roughly the size and shape of the Tanimbar Corella, but is easily distinguished by the red feathers around the vent. It is threatened by habitat loss and the cage bird trade. Number 2. The Palawan Peacock Pheasant Polyplectron napoleonis, is a medium-sized, up to 50 cm long, bird in the family Phasianidae. It is featured prominently in the culture of the indigenous people of Palawan. The bird is also depicted in the official seal of the city of Puerto Princesa. The adult male is the most peacock-like member of the genus Polyplectron in appearance. It has an erectile crest and highly iridescent electric blue-violet, metallic green turquoise dorsal plumage. Its breast and ventral regions are dark black. The rectrices are wide, flat, and rigid. Number 3. The Philippine Trogon, is a long-tailed bird of lowland and low-elevation montane forest. Brown on the back, with barred wings, a white undertail, a yellow bill with blue at the base, and blue bare skin around the eye. Female has mustard yellow underparts and an olive brown head, whereas the spectacular male has a black head, a pink chest, and a red belly. Unmistakable. The only species of trogon in the Philippines. It builds its nest in a hole in a dead tree 6 meters up. Its clutch size is 3 eggs. Number 4. The indigo banded kingfisher, is a species of bird in the family Alcedonidae. It is endemic to the Philippines, where it is generally uncommon but locally widespread in the northern and central islands. The indigo banded kingfisher feeds on fish and aquatic insects. It perches on rocks and overhanging branches and foliage and dives steeply into the water to catch its prey. Once caught, it returns the prey to the perch where it is beaten and swallowed. Little is known about its breeding behavior although it is known to nest in tunnels dug into the banks of streams and rivers. Number 5. The Rufus Hornbill, also known as the Philippine Hornbill and locally as Kala, is a large species of hornbill endemic to the Philippines. They are referred by locals as the Clock of the Mountains, due to its large booming call which typically occur of every hour. It occurs in moist tropical lowland forest. They are now considered to be a threatened species and its reasons for decline being habitat destruction. Hunting and poaching for the illegal pet trade. It is illegal to hunt, capture, or possess Rufus Hornbills under Philippine Law RA 9147. Number 6. The Philippine Hanging Parrot, also commonly known as the Colassusi from its local Tagalog name Colassusi is a small cetaculid parrot species endemic to the Philippines. Philippine hanging parrots are mainly green with areas of red, orange, yellow, and blue on the head and breast varying between subspecies. Males have a red breast patch, except for the population living on Camigin, where both males and females, like females of the other subspecies, lack red on the breast. They make nests in tree holes and, Unusually for a parrot, the female takes nesting material back to the nest. Number 7. The yellow-breasted fruit dove, locally known as Balorina e is a species of bird in the family Colomidae. It is endemic to the Philippines. Its natural habitat is tropical moist lowland forest. While it is listed as least concern in IUCN, it is declining due to habitat loss, hunting, and trapping for the illegal wildlife trade. It is distinguished by green upper parts, tail, thighs, and sides, grey crown and sides to the neck, yellow breast, maroon patch on the belly, and maroon stripe from the eye around the back of the head. Number 8. The Palawan Talking Mina, Gracula religiosa palaenses, 
originated in Palawan, Philippines. Because of its ability to cross mountains and hills, it has also been called as the Palawan Hill Mina by locals. This bird is very unique and entertaining as it could mimic 3 to 15 different sounds. This is a stocky jet black mina, with bright orange-yellow patches of naked skin and fleshy wattles on the side of its head and nape. Its large, white wing patches are obvious in flight, but mostly covered when the bird is sitting. Number 9. The scale-feathered makoha is a species of cuckoo in the family Cuculidae. It is endemic to the northern Philippines. It is a long-tailed bird of lowland and montane forest. Blackish, with glossy wings, a white-tipped tail, rufous underparts and back, a yellow bill, red skin in front of and behind the eye, and a white hood with a line of scaled feathers down from the bill and up over the crown. Forages at all levels for insects and other prey, particularly in vine tangles. Similar in size and shape to red-crested makoha, number 10. The black-naped oriole, Oriolus chinensis, is a passerine bird in the oriole family that is found in many parts of Asia such as Philippines. It is medium-sized and overall golden with a strong pinkish bill, and a broad black mask and nape. The adult male has the central tail feathers tipped yellow, and the lateral ones are more broadly yellow. The female has the mantle color, more greenish or olive. The juvenile has a streaked underside. The nestling has dull greenish with brown streaks. The head and nape are more yellowish and the undertail coverts are yellow. Thanks for watching, please share, like, and subscribe to this channel for more videos and updates.